Dickie Duncan, to whom am I speaking? <laughs> yeah, right. What kind of an idiot do you think I am? No, too easy. <laughs> hey, listen, pal. Next time you want to get your jollies off, call someone else, huh? You believe that? Some crackpot just called here. Tried to convince me he was Nick Weiler. Oh, Nick Weiler, the famous movie star who had a torrid affair with Julie and still carries a torch for her like Joe DiMaggio does for Marilyn Monroe, only Julie's not dead? Yeah, that's the one. You hung up on Nick Weiler? Hey, I hung up on a very bad impression. How okay? do you know that? Oh, please. He's a good friend of Julie's. He could have easily called her here. Julie Carlisle show. Joy speaking. <laughs> yeah, right. Nick Weiler. Huh? If you think I'm a bigger idiot than Dickie Duncan, well, then... Wait a minute. Hello? Nick? <laughs> Ow. No, no, just a blip on the phone. How are you? Yeah, Willie. That's great. Oh, we'd be delighted. When would you be getting in? No, no, I won't say a word about it. Thanks, Nick. I knew it was Nick Weiler all the time. I was just having a little fun with the guy. I just spoke with Nick Weiler. <laughs> on location in Des Moines. He wants to guest on the show. Uh-oh. That could make Sam very jealous. Oh, please. Why would Sam be jealous of a tall, rich, good-looking, bon vivant, raconteur? Okay, I see you. <laughs> Will you two stop this? Julie and he have friends. They've been friends for years. Mm, in my considered opinion, Mr. Wolstein, as both a woman and an avid reader of those trashy tabloids, I think we'd better warn Julie about this. Absolutely not. Someone that famous who's actually in town, she'll be thrilled. And not a word about it. He wants this to be a real surprise to her. Bully! What's up? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Is this gonna be all right? Is it what you had in mind? Perfect. Hi, I'm Mildred. I blow dry everyone this side of the Floyd River. Oh, how nice. Hey, Mildred. Oh, hi, Willie. Oh. Well, we, we needed someone on short notice. We could at least try her out. Yeah, not today, darling. I have an appointment. Just let me fiddle a little. It'd be a real feather in my cap to have you on my client list. Oh, Willie, please, Julie. This is Bill Puckett. He's the head of the music department at Billings. Hi, Central. Mr. Bucket. Puckett. Oh, pocket. Right. He's going to help us with the arrangements this week. Really? Mm -hmm. Great. Could we possibly get to this tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, dear, that's cutting rather close, which makes me rather anxious. And when I get anxious, I can't work. And when I can't work, I uh, drink. And when I drink, I, I, you know... No, 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 fine, fine. Let's get to it right away. Only I have a date with my husband in a very little while. Let's do it quickly. We'll be lightning on those keys. Okay. Would you like me to call Sam and tell him you'll be a little late? No, absolutely not. I have no intention of being late. Ow! Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, no. Could we try it in A flat, Mr. Pluckett? Punk it. Fuck it. you what? I yeah. really need you to try these soon. They'll be fine. Ah! Well, maybe we're catching a break here. Steady heartbeat. Eyes are clear. His body seems to be accepting the vaccine. Well, then get out of here. Hmm? Go on. You still have time to meet Jules. Yeah, I do, don't I? Whoa. Oh, Clem. I have been waiting for this day to spend alone with my lady since she got here. Oh, just think of it. I've got this day planned. We're going to do everything we've never done before together. Take a hike, go on a picnic lunch, make out in the backseat of the Chevy. <laughs> You're like a kid. Oh, yeah. It's great, isn't it? Well. Very dashing. I better dash. Remember, I'm just a few for work. OK. Bye. Julie. <clears throat> yeah, hi, sweetheart. No, no, I'm just uh, running a little late. No, no. No, I understand. Oh, I'm not disappointed. Yeah. All right, I'll see you at dinner. You okay? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be okay? You were looking forward to this so much. Yeah, well, you know, I look forward to something else. Sagacious. Uh, smart. Good. Lazy. Explanation? Vocabulary drill. I have a big test tomorrow. 
Oh, you got Adam to help you. Nice, Adam. She's paying me. Nice, Adam. Actually, I am Nick Weiler. Wow! <laughs> Nick Weiler! Wow! Hey, come in, come in. I'm Sam McGuire, Julie's wife. I mean, her husband. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I tell you, we are big fans of yours, especially Ali. Dad, please. I'm uh, studying to be a lawyer. I have a vocabulary test tomorrow. Oh, it's nice to meet you, counselor. Wow. Nick Weiler. Woo <laughs> What brings you to Sioux City? I'm guesting on Julie's show. Oh, right, yeah. I thought I'd come by and surprise her. Oh, terrific. Come on in. Sit down. All right. It's Nick Weiler. It's Adam. We don't know him. Cool. <laughs> How do you do? <sighs> oh. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Nick Weiler in my house. Nice to meet you. Oh, Nick, you gotta stay for That's dinner. Very kind of you. I'll just go gussy up a bit. <laughs> I'm just a girl who can't say no. <laughs> well, she's, she's been with us a long time. Oh, hello. Huh. Well, seems to like you, Nick Weiler. <laughs> <laughs> So, where is the pretty lady? Oh, she'll be here soon. A heavy day at the studio. No. You know Jules? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Although, one thing about her. She plays as hard as she works. Yeah? Are you kidding? I mean, when we worked together, whoa, the trouble we got into. What kind of trouble? You wouldn't want to know. Yeah, we do, we do. Hello, everybody. I'm home. I'm sorry I'm so late. Everything that could go wrong today did. Oh, hello, Adam. Oh, try not to eat too much before dinner, dear. Hi, Ali. How's the studying going? I know the hard work will pay off. Uh, Hi, Sam. I... I'm sorry about today. Oh, I bet not... dinner's ruined. Oh, sit down, sit down, darling. Go on. Uh, sure. I, I have a little surprise for both of us. Yeah, well... Here we go. And Nick, you're certainly looking well. Nick! If you're ever in a jam, oh. here I am. If you're ever up a tree, count on me. But I'm. Oh, gosh. Surprise? Oh, hello. It's Nick. Sam is the busiest veterinarian in Sioux City. A lot of animals here, huh? Oh, yeah. Dessert. This is the second scariest dessert I've ever seen. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, Nick, I'd forgotten. Do you want to tell him? <laughs> well, no, you tell him. This is funny, Sam. We were doing this picture in France. In the, in the French Riviera. The pirate problem. No, the problem with pirates. Right. <laughs> it was a musical. Uh, I never saw it. Then. Well, you were not alone. <laughs> anyway. I took her to this very snooty French restaurant. Oh, he was trying to impress me. I did, darling. You're right, darling. You did. And I ordered the Sweet. fanciest dessert on the menu. Oh. It's called cream, cream bananas, bananas flambe. flambe. So they bring this dessert. See, it's flambeing away oh. like crazy, like something out of a... Out of a science fiction movie. <laughs> yeah. Sam, these four foot flames were shooting out of this stupid little custard. I swear the main ingredient must have Lighter been... Lighter fluid. Had to be lighter. It, it was so high, it was singeing my eyebrows. You remember oh, that? Of course I remember. <laughs> we had to stick our spoons in it to stop it from flaming yeah, up some but, more. But even when we thought and it had died the down, the whole thing just wishing blew out up like again. Crazy, oh, wishing crazy. away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want some of this? Fun times. Yeah, great. I had something funny happen to me once. Well, actually, it happened to Beans McCarthy. They call him Beans because, well, it's not important to the story why they call him Beans. Anyway, Beans is a, is a cattle breeder. And uh, one day he's out there branding. And uh, so now, so there's Beans holding the heifer while his farmhand's getting ready to brand. See, at this last second, boom, the heifer 
moves, and the farmhand winds up branding beans right on the keister. <laughs> oh, God, it was so funny. <laughs> Jeez, that must have hurt. Oh, phew. No kidding. <laughs> Funny. Hmm? Yeah. What was funny? Well, well, no, 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 no. It wasn't funny at the time. I mean, we had to rush him to emergency, and and, and he had to sit in a tub of ice. <laughs> Although, I mean, beans on ice was very funny. No, no, no. This, this wasn't funny at all. It's um. But we can laugh at it now. You know. I mean, those of us who were there. Which I guess was uh, only me. Hello, Doctor McGuire. Oh, hi, Joy. Oh, goodies. Yeah, Julie and I had lunch. Oh, you continue to woo Julie even after joining her in Holy Wedlock. What a gentleman. Oh, thanks. <laughs> She's on the stage rehearsing with Nick. Oh. Nice guy, Nick. Yeah, but I think you're nicer. I don't care what anyone says. I think you and Julie make a much cuter couple than she and Nick ever did. Julie and Nick were an item? Oh, yeah. It was an affair the gossip columnist could barely contain. I, uh, I think I'll watch for a while. Everybody, let's do it again, Jules. Cream? And milk, please, darling. How come you never told me about the two of you? Nick and me? Sugar? No. Oh, that's old news. It was over long ago. No reason to be jealous. Jealous? <laughs> I'm not jealous. That's not what we're talking about. Well, what are we talking about? You want to know what we're talking about? I'll tell you what we're talking about. We're talking about... Cream bananas. Cream bananas? Yes, cream bananas, bananas. And not that pretty boy, ex-lover, actor dandy of yours, who, by the way, is not fooling anyone with that lousy hair weave. Oh, uh, you know, Judy, you're right. I think... mm -hmm. I'm jealous of the time you and Nick have spent together, the fun you've had, the trouble you've gotten into, the memories you shared. That's what I'm jealous of. Dearest, we'll have memories, too. We will? When will we make the time, huh? Dickie! Ah, there it is. How long have you been?
been out there. Uh, they want you on stage. <laughs> Sorry. You okay? How much did you hear? Outside of ex lover, bad hair weave, hardly anything. Ah! Ah! I didn't mean that, Nick. Sure you did. No, but let me tell you something. There's not one strand on this head that isn't real, and I can prove it. Uh, Nick. No, no, no. Let me show. You. Let me show. You. Just try that with a bad ah! hair. Oh, I gotta go. Uh, right. You want some chicken? Maybe just a wing. Ah! Ah! I don't blame you for wanting to share every moment with her. Well, you know, I just couldn't help wondering what... To... What went on between us? Yeah. Well, I don't blame you. If I was in your shoes, I'd feel the same way. I'd be asking, what did you two do together? That's what I'd be asking. Yeah, well, uh... <laughs> what did you two do together? What didn't we do together? What difference does it make? As far as I know, you're the first person Julie's ever committed to. Yeah, but tell me something. Why did she commit to you? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she wasn't ready. Maybe she didn't think I was worth it. Maybe I wasn't. Maybe you weren't. <laughs> I wasn't meant as a criticism, Nick. You're a very lucky man, Sam. You got great kids. <gasps> An incredible wife. <laughs> what have I got? All I've got is a hillside mansion, my own Rolls Royce, a Bentley Turbo, a Learjet, a 106-foot yacht, and a little black book with a million numbers in it. <laughs> you think I'm happy? A great rehearsal. I think when I get back to Hollywood, I'm gonna hire myself a new maid. <laughs> I've always loved that laugh, Jules. Whatever happened to us? Oh, Nick. Work was always the most important thing in my life. You knew that. Is it still? No. No, now there's Sam, the kids. Well, then a word of advice from the man that got away. Make time for what's really important. I will. Well, I've got to go. Oh, no, wait. Say goodbye to everybody. Uh, Sam! Ali! Adam! Come say goodbye to Nick! Sam! What's up? Dear Jules, emergency. I'm at the university lab. I didn't know when you'd get home, so I took the kids. Love, Sam. Lucky rally. You did your best, Sam. Yeah, obviously my best was not good enough. He looks so sad, Daddy. I know, baby. Will he ever get well? I honestly don't know. Let's get another blanket on him. Yeah. Hello. May we come in? Sure, darling. I got your note. Oh, it's the little leopard I told you about. I've got a hunch. Maybe if we double the dosage. Give me another CC. Yeah. Are you going to give him an injection? Yeah. You going to use a needle? Yeah. He's going to use a needle. It's all right. It's all right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Would you put a blanket on Nick? <laughs> well, the Learjet's waiting. Bye, Nick. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thank you. Sam? Goodbye, Nick. Bernie? Ciao. Uh -uh. <laughs> Kids? Goodbye, Uncle Nick. Counselor? Adam? Bye, Nick. Kids are really taking to you. Nick Weiler. <laughs> Clem? Thanks for the mouth to mouth. Hey, Nick Weiler. <laughs> I just want you to know that I can handle anything but needles. We understand. 
I turned down the return of Dr. Kildare because there were needles. No, we understand, Nick. I just want you to understand. We do. We do. We do. Bye. Ooh. Come on, kids. Let's put Blackie in the barn. Come on. Can I carry Blackie? No, it's my turn. Hello. 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 You saved a life today. Oh, we got lucky. Gonna have to watch it for a bit, though. Oh, I'm glad you're with me. Me too. It's Summer Recreation Day on America's Funniest Home Videos, followed by the wacky world of America's Funniest People. Now, stay tuned for Perfect Strangers, next.